Hello, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, I'll show you how to make a backend application that connects to Epic using the Plasma Fire framework. The backend application workflow is a little bit different than the patient or clinician workflow because in this case, we don't have a user who can actually log in and perform the authentication. So before starting, what you'll need to do is go over to the Epic documentation and you'll need to follow the instructions for creating a public private key pair for the JWT that we'll be using during this workflow. And of course, you'll also need to register an application and it will ask you which type of application you'd like to, to create. It'll have clinician, patient, or backend, and you'll select backend. And by the way, these instructions are also on the PlasmaFire documentation, which you can get by going to plasmafire.com and clicking docs. Once you have done this, you can run create plasma app and we will call this backend app. And now there is an option for a backend template that you can use. So we'll select that and in just a moment it will install. And I can open it in VS Code. Now out of the box, you'll need to do a couple of things. The first thing you wanna do is go into the config file and paste in the client ID of the app that you created. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I've added my client ID to the config file and it should be in the client ID field. The next thing I wanna do is copy in the private key file that I generated using the instructions from the Epic documentation. So to do that, I'm first going to open a new terminal and I'm going to actually build the application by, by running npm run build that's going to generate the build folder, which is where I would like to store my private key file, which I have right here. I'm going to drag that file into my build directory. And it doesn't have to be in here. It can, it's totally up to you where you want to store the file. And now I am ready to almost ready to run the app. One important note is that you must be running node version 18 or higher. And the reason is because the framework is using the fetch API, which was recently introduced in Node. So I'm going to check which version I'm using, and I'm actually on 16 right now, so I'm going to call nvm use 18.6 and switch to version 18. Now before I run the code, let's do a quick walkthrough of what the template gives us. Here we have a hard-coded patient. This is a sandbox patient named Jason Argonaut. And this block of code here is just loading the private key that I paste it over and it's grabbing the configuration data including our client ID. And then in this main application we initialize the PlasmaFire API for a backend workflow. And then we are reading the patient data and printing that out and then reading some allergies and printing that out. So now that we have built it we can go ahead and call npm run start. And if we examine the console here we should see that some allergies were printed out as well as some information about the patient. Uh, the patient is down here, just his name. So now you have the basic structure for a backend app in Node, and you can add this to a backend somewhere to pull data from the health system or do whatever you'd like with it. So hopefully this video is interesting to you, and if you'd like to be notified of future videos, feel free to subscribe. If you need to contact me, you can use the contact form on the website plasmafire.com, and that's fire spelled F-H-I-R, or you can email me at plasmafire at gmail.com. Thank you very much for watching the video.